What's up everybody? Now I know in the past couple of videos I expressed my interest in uh, Blender and this new update. So I, I went ahead and recorded um, you know a session like a two hour long session <coughs> using Blender. And uh, yeah, here it is. So we got Blender open, you know you got the right left click thing. I'm going with the left click because that's what I'm used to. And let's get into this. So I'm moving around the scene, trying to see what's going on. Let me, I'm looking at the tools. And um, yeah, I think I got the hang of this. I know how to select the faces. And uh, I pretty much know how to use the extrude. And that's pretty much the only tool that I'm really able to use. OK, so the extrude is, is really working out. It's working well for me. But for some reason, I can't get this. I can't get it to extrude out. I really have no idea why. Now, I don't know any shortcuts, so, um, you know, I, I can't really get around this right now. Now, I think I, I think I just use the, um, I just use the scale tool to kind of bring everything out, which is a kind of sloppy way to do it, because I'm pretty sure there's a way to extrude outwards, you know. And um, when I'm extruding these faces here, for some reason, it's still not extruding out. Yeah, well, I'm going to try to use the tools that I know. I know that the bevel is going to do what I need it to do. So that's what I'm using now. Um, I think that the inset faces tool seems to do, you know, well enough. Uh, I just <laughs> I just extruded everything out to kind of, I don't know, create some type of spaceship type thing. I don't know. Uh, that seems to be all I'm able to model, really. <laughs> If you look at my animated uh, short films, it's pretty much all you'll see. It's just a bunch of, you know, spaceship-related type stuff. But uh, you know, I'm a I'm a sci-fi type of guy, so I guess that's just what I'm into. For some reason, I can't select the vertices that are um, on the opposite side of the camera. I don't know how else to explain this, but it, it seems to select what's in view, and I'm trying to select what's behind it. But I had to go around it to, to kind of find uh, the thing I needed to um, select. Anyway, I'm going back to the basic tool, so I'm hitting up the I'm trying to I'm trying to get the inset faces tool to, to work. For some reason I had a little difficulty with it. The extrusion and uh, the bevel tools, you know, they're working out just fine. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that'll be the only tool that that I'll you know really know how to use in any software because it's it's kind of universal. Uh, I know I know certain things here have different names, so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to just go by by what I think it does, you know. So using the slice tool is actually better here than it is in uh, Maya, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I still can't get over the selection thing. Like I don't know how to select the faces. You know the the ones that sit behind the the ones that are in view. Anyway, I got this weird type of object type thing going. Um, trying to figure out a way to fill these these holes, but I I can't seem to find a tool. So I'm gonna extrude it out a little bit. Maybe bring it in. I, I feel like I'm missing tools, but I know that there are extra panels and menus and stuff that I should be using right now. So right now I just brought in the EV renderer. Um, I, I don't I don't think you just bring, I don't think you bring it in, but it's like you you activate it in like the viewport. So I think that's what I just did. Um, I'm I'm setting up a couple lights so that I can have um, you know some more to add more dimension to the to the um, to the object, you know. Oh, I'm I'm in here looking for the for the controls for the um for the light intensity and everything. I just found it, so you know that's cool. Now I'm messing with the materials. Uh, the options seem plentiful, so you know I'm just tweaking a couple things. You know I'm I'm really shooting for what I recognize. There are certain names here, you know, titles and stuff that are just that are just new, but there I think some of them are are self-explanatory, so. I'm kind of playing with that. Okay, I just went to the layout. Everything went back to how it how it looked when the, when I um, brought in the EV renderer. 
Um, I'm just going to mess with some of these tools. And I think this is like a box creation type tool. And this one right here, I have no idea what it does. But it has a pretty cool icon. Let me, let me see what I can get. Oh, whoa. Dang, the program just cut off like that? Hmm. Now I'm going to interrupt this just for a second. And um, I was a little bit disappointed with the, I don't, I don't know what just happened. I think the software just closed on me. <laughs> I think one of the tools gave me this error, but I didn't know what it was really because it didn't tell me that it was an error. It didn't give me the option to save my project. It just closed. So, uh, you know, that was a little bit disappointing, especially if I decide to really put some real time into it and then it just cuts off like that. Uh, I know, of course, we are, you know, we are taught to get into the habit of saving your projects like every 10, 15 minutes. But that one, you know, that just came out of nowhere. Anyway, I'm getting right back. I hope you guys don't, don't get that problem in the, in the um, you know, the OG blender. Yeah, I think I think I might just go to uh, Maya and try to model something, then bring an object back into uh, Blender because uh, I think I'm I'm done with the modeling in Blender for now. You know, my modeling prowess weren't you know the best, and they aren't even you know really good in Maya either. Like I'm not the best modeler. I know how to get what I need, but you know that that isn't why I'm getting into Blender. You know. So I'm going to try to recreate what I made in um, in Blender, but maybe add some extra ness to it. I don't know. I'm just trying to see what I can pull up real quick. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to add some. I'm I'm trying to use the same tools that I used in Blender, so then I can kind of get the same feel and. Uh, yeah, I'm, now I'm just going to add some bevels, select the edges, and, and just add more and more bevels. And I got to say that this is probably the ugliest object I've ever made, like, period. I don't know how this happened. Anyway, I'm going to make something else now. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, you know, just, just try to make something, just try to make something using, you know, the tools that I'm, that I'm used to using. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to make something so that I can, you know, send it over to, to Blender and, and use the EV renderer. You know, that's something that I, you know, that I do really, really, uh, like about, about this new update here. It was kind of the biggest pull for me was that real time game engine like, um, renderer. So, uh, I'm extruding and beveling and using some, um, some bridging. I know that these tools can be found in Blender, but I don't really have the time to, to go through and try to find them and, and figure them out. So what I'm gonna do is just make something real quick and uh, send this over. I know this thing doesn't really look like anything and it's, it's not really supposed to. I'm kind of working off of just, you know, whatever comes to mind. And uh, yeah, I think, I think I, that's, that's just about it. Now I'm going to send it over to Blender. Now, of course, I'm not working this fast. You know, this is kind of a time lapse video. Uh, you know, I detached the audio from the from the video itself, so you know, I can I can speed up the video. Uh, I'm gonna I'm messing with the lights. Dang, this this render view is awesome. I, I, I thought it was all hype, you know, because I, you know, everybody's talking about how, how good the game engine is and everything. I don't know whether to call it a game engine because I'm not really sure you know, what it goes by, but, they, you know, they weren't kidding. They really went all out with this uh, EV renderer. Right now I'm using cycles, so I'm not getting that, that um, real timeness that I got out of um, EV. Uh, yeah, now I'm just going to just just really figure out how to select stuff. Some things are different and some things are similar or similar now because, you know, they tried to make it more like user friendly for, for people who come from more like traditional um, software uh, packages. 
or I, I won't say traditional, but like, you know, paid software packages. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm duplicating this object so I can, uh, so I can add more to the scene because this thing, it looks like nothing is going on. It will be real cool if I figure out how to use like the environment lighting so that I can, um, I can get rid of this gray because, because it is kind of depressing. But that's kind of what you got to get accustomed to, you know, if you're going to be working with 3D. For some reason, I can't select, I can't select past the camera. I, I still can't get over that. Uh, right now, I'm trying to figure out how to smooth this thing, and uh, it's not really smoothing for me. I think it's because, I don't know what it is, but I, all, I'm, all I seem to do is, is like subdivide it. And that's not what I'm, I'm trying to actually smooth it. Now this um, bridging tool is, is amazing. It's like really responsive. Right now I'm still trying to figure out how to smooth this thing out. And I'm probably gonna be figuring this thing out for the next couple of days because uh, the solution is nowhere in sight. Now I'm going through these menus and I just can't find nothing. Uh, dang. Anyway, now right now I, I'm trying to create a camera and, and I'm, I'm trying to look through it, but for some reason, I don't know, I don't know how to get to the camera view. Now, I think my brother said something about pressing zero or something, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, there. Okay, that seemed to work. But every time I move it, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock the camera, yeah, yeah. Now everything seems to be straight. Okay, uh, dang. Cycles is amazing. Um, I do like EV a lot better because because every time I move it just it just renders in real time. But Cycles is phew, nothing to sleep on either. Uh, anyway, I I went back to my object mode. Uh, I I'm out of the EV renderer. I, I didn't enable it again because right now I'm trying to I'm trying to pull out a final render so that I can finish up with this um, with this video and the scene this project so I'm, I'm working trying to trying to get the, the shading right and uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to have it to where each object has its own um, material um, I'm going to render this again because I don't really like the angle so much so I'm going to go through maybe make okay okay I, I like this render I mean it's it's the best I can get out of this, out of the scene. Maybe if I was able to smooth, um, you know, some of the objects out, then I'd get something a lot, a lot better and a lot less amateurish, you know. So I'm, I'm gonna render this again because I still don't, I don't like the angle and I don't know how to move this, the the center for the camera, and, and I see I can't seem to select it. Uh, I know. I know you guys in the comments are gonna are gonna be attacking me for for being for being stupid, you know. Okay, anyway, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the depth of field going. For some reason I can't get no depth. I might just send the clip over to Photoshop. So then I could just fake some depth. Because uh, I think that would be the that would be the easiest option for me. The easiest thing for me to do. I hate Photoshop for real. <laughs> I just hate this software, but you know, it's, it's something that I know. So I can do whatever I want with it. So right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to isolate pieces of the picture. So then I can, uh, you know, add some, some Gaussian blur to the, to the foreground, um, to the foreground piece, make it look like I'm, I'm looking past it. And the red object there is the focus. Uh, I know I can, I can really get crazy and, and try to add some, some, um, you know, some blur to the to the to the last object to the gray piece. You know, all the way in the back, but that's just doing too much now. Uh, now, now I need to add some extra depth, so I'm going to add some smoke. Uh, just any random piece of smoke, and I'm going to flip this, flip this uh, smoke, so it can look like it's coming from the light source, and the light is having an effect on the on the transparency of the smoke. Or, or on the opacity of the smoke. I'm gonna duplicate it, maybe make one extremely blurred out so it can work more as a, like a, a fog. 
what else can I do? Maybe bring up the, opa um, the opacity, maybe mess with the contrast and the, and the vibrance. Um, yeah, I think I like it better when it's dark. Now, this blur looks extremely fake, so I'm going to try to pinch it. But first, I'm going to warp this. I'm going to warp this uh, foreground element, you know, just a little bit. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. I mean, it's, it looks pretty garbage right now, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway. <sighs> okay, so to bring this whole thing together, I guess some sparks, some good old-fashioned sparks would, would kind of clean this all up. Uh, mess, with, mess with some of the values. Oh, yeah, and I, I set it to screen so that... Uh, it will remove the, the black background. Okay, now I'm going to add some sparks all the way in the back. I'm going to do a couple, some masks to sell the, the, the image because it needs to look like it sits in the back. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, now I'm going to add some foreground sparks. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. So now, now I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much done. Now I'm just wrapping everything up. Uh, let me just save a final image, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna resize this a little bit to to mess with the composition. And uh, I'm just about done. I'm saving this out, and uh, yeah, that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this. So as as you guys can tell, I wasn't able to put anything nice together. Uh, I, I guess my lack of experience really showed, but. You know, I tried. I tried. Hopefully in the future, though, I'll be able to make something nice. And uh, I don't know. I think everything might culminate in like a, a short animated clip. If I can kind of figure out the the way you do animations in Blender. <sighs> anyway, that was my experience. And I'm down to learn. So any help down in the comments is really appreciated. And I'll be back with some more videos. Bye.